Sweet. All right. So to write this in a vertex form, this is negative 21. So to write this in a vertex form, remember, guys, we have to complete the square, right? We have to complete the square. So we, and we don't want to keep everything with set equal to y. So the first thing I do is I put parentheses around my first two terms, my quadratic and my linear term. Now remember, when we completed the square, we always completed the square when a was equal to 1. Is a equal to 1 in this case? No. So now the next thing I need to do is I need to factor out a negative 3. So negative 3 times x squared minus 6x minus 21. Did everybody see that? OK. You only need to factor out of those first two terms. Then we need to we create this as a perfect square trinomial. So you do b divided by 2 squared. Negative 6 divided by 2 squared. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. So right, y equals negative 3 times x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 9, right? Because whatever you add and subtract on the same side, your equation is going to be the same. And here's where it gets caught with everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, let's look at what we're doing. I'm adding a 9 inside the parentheses, but that 9 inside the parentheses is being multiplied by a negative 3. So am I really adding 9 here? No. I'm really subtracting 27. So to make these equal, if I add 9 and multiply it by negative 3, when I subtract 9, I also have to multiply it by negative 3. If I don't multiply by negative 3, my equation is not going to be the same value. So whatever you add and subtract, remember that if you factor something out, you've got to multiply that back out outside your parentheses. So now I have minus 9 times 3 and then minus 21. Now we write this as a perfect square. Remember, if we can't rewrite that as a perfect square, we can always write it as x plus b over 2. b over 2 was negative 3. So therefore, I have y equals negative 3, x minus 3 squared. Negative 9 times 3 is a positive 27. Positive 27 minus 21 is a positive 6. And then we now have an um, equation in vertex form. Cool? All right? And you guys can notice the vertex now is at 3 comma 6. It's going to reflect over the x-axis, and it's going to be uh, horizontally compressed. Okay, I talked way.